episode seven is a Doreen story. It's a, the story of when Doreen finally gets out after being in prison for many years. She's tried to go for a compassionate leave to move to Perth, but that's knocked back in the previous episode. And this episode sees her getting parole. So in terms of Doreen's journey with this episode, it's really about her being unapologetic in her reach for freedom. I couldn't imagine ever wanting, ever feeling like you can't connect with your loved ones on the outside, let alone if they're in another state entirely, how isolating that would be. She then is given the piece of paper and form to say that she's gained her freedom. And she's worked incredibly hard at that. And she's grown into a woman. And that was such a wonderful arc and journey to be able to honour that and to play. So I might shoot my last scene in the third day of block, you know, but it was still such a wonderful, beautiful moment to share that with gorgeous Nash and Doreen and her son. And my favourite moment inside, though, would have to be when she gets a letter and the girls think that it's bad news. In actual fact, she relays to them that she's gotten her parole. The last scene for that day, our beautiful first AD, Pauline, um, scheduled it so that my very end scene would be that me finding out that I had gotten parole. I remember sitting here when Matt just came up to me and said, you know, this is it. I just went, <gasps> I suddenly just had this, like a, I was awash with all this emotion and I just wanted to cry. It was cathartic release, it was, a, it was um, sad, it was, it was a happy time and it was um, a really beautiful end and I'm grateful for that, yeah. One of the biggest challenges of this episode was the big struggle in the shower block between Ferguson and Ali. Um, and it was a fantastic uh, scene to shoot, two such great actors going at each other. Um, but it's also a very delicate scene, you know, it's in a confined space in the showers. Um, and there was always a thought of how do we make this as cinematic as possible, uh, knowing that we, you know, we're in a shower cubicle. So we had this idea of uh, actually having Ferguson turn the shower on to cleanse, to cleanse the filth from Ali. I mean, Joan's ambition was never to be top dog, particularly. Uh, Joan's ambition is to win at all cost. And I think the strategy of becoming top dog was an opportunity that she just felt she could use to her own ends. So I think she's probably pleased with herself that it all went according to plan. That really her long game that she's playing there is to destabilise and undermine Vera's power as the governor and bring her down. And that does involve actually almost pulling a plug on Joan's own power of the women in her own control of the prison. She's trying to um, sow the seeds of kind of chaos and anarchy to um, really destabilise um, Vera's power base and, um, and get Vera kicked out of that job which is rightfully hers.